A couple of videos back, I created a YouTube video questioning whether I should switch from my Windows desktop PC over to a MacBook Pro. And shout out to my boy Bo Hazem in the comments who told me to wait for the M3 because I probably would have spent thousands of dollars getting the M2, which is still good stuff. But when new tech comes out, you just feel bad if you just spent for it. Anyway, I did it. I have been busy buying and selling stuff. I sold my Windows PC. I bought this MacBook. Pro, the M3 Pro, and I just wanted to quickly talk about it. Part of why I haven't been creating videos is I've just been wanting to get all the right tools for what I'm doing right now. In the past, when I bought my Windows computer, I thought I was a gamer still. I'd been raised on Windows. I mean, I remember this, and then this. I've been using Windows for a long time, but I like change. Change helps me grow. Change keeps life interesting for me, so I went for it. And I just wanted to let you know my initial impressions. I did a video on my other channel where I talk a bit more about this in depth, but in this video, I'm gonna talk a little bit more about it from a video editing standpoint, because that's essentially why I got it. The desktop was decent, but I wanted the portable workstation. The sickest thing about this is that not only is it very powerful, it's just as powerful on battery. I can take it all around my house, have it on my lap, and I can edit 4K videos without proxies or any cache in real time. And it's very, very impressive. Now it's not perfect. I got the base model pro, not base model, yes, 18 gigs of RAM, 512 gigabytes. I kind of have one foot out the door with this purchase. Part of me really wants that upgraded one just to kind of future proof. I know my wife hates me using that word, but this is gonna be a, a purchase that's gonna last me for a long time. We just sold our truck, we're down to one vehicle. If there's ever a time I have a little bit of money to justify buying the better thing, it's right now. But here's the problem is I still don't know exactly what I need. For example, last night I realized when I'm editing on this machine, Machine, I can stack 4k footage I can put text on it and it handles it no problem again with no proxies but when I start adding some of the effects like watercolor etc this thing starts to lag I got a little bit disappointed I thought that it would be able to handle that kind of stuff I had a realization last night and this is something I'm going to talk more about in a future video is I realized on my Sony right now I'm shooting an XAVC S so it's a compressed video codec. And just something I didn't realize is that when you're editing files in Resolve, when you're using compressed files, it's gonna bog the machine down. It has to uncompress it and edit the files on the fly. So this one does shoot in the, what is the all I, the all intra? I can't exactly remember. I haven't deep dived into the codecs yet, but there is a more uncompressed video. It's not ProRes, but it is more uncompressed than what I'm sh recording in right now. So I ordered a new SD card. I'm gonna run some tests and see if shooting and editing in that format makes a big difference when it comes to effects, because that's what I want. I want my videos to be more fun. I wanna be able to do stuff like this and have more freedom when it comes to creating videos. I am not regretting my purchase in my Switch. Mac stuff is great. This computer is fantastic. It's very expensive, but the build quality, the speakers, the screen, the speed, the ecosystem and the short Shortcuts is where I'm having a bit of a hard time right now because there's so many little tiny shortcuts and details I'm used to with Windows where I'm just, I'm like, how do I do this on the Mac? It's such little things, but it's amazing how so many little mini decisions, they can have a big impact. So I still have a couple months of deciding on what I'm gonna do. I still have my uh, Asus Zephyrus laptop. This has a 2060 video card in it. This thing's still really solid as well. Anyway, I just wanted to give a little update talking about it. You know, the difference between the Windows and the Apple, it's not that big, but I am noticing that there's so many ways, you know, you can send things to your iPad, send it to your iPhone. I do like the idea. I'm still rocking the Samsung S21. I've got my Samsung watch. I, I love Samsung stuff. It's still great, but I'm starting to see how all the Apple stuff plays really nice together. And again, I'm, I'm still really thinking about, should I, I know I'm gonna be in it if I buy the phone and it's a lot of money. I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna do. So a lot of you have commented that you do work on the Mac operating system or that you do use Mac computers. Do you also use the phone? Are you fully committed into that ecosystem as well? Once I get a little bit more time with this machine, I'm gonna talk more about it in future videos. But so far, the Pro uh, is very, very solid. Editing in 4K, big files, 10-bit, S-Log3, it's a breeze. It's very, very impressive. I'm really happy. Anyway, that's what I've been up to. 
I always love chatting with you guys in the comments below. If you think I should upgrade to the max, it would be nice to have the one terabyte hard drive and maybe the bump up in the RAM just for extra future proofing. Mm -hmm. I'd like to use more fusion effects. I'd like to learn more about that kind of stuff with Resolve, but Resolve is gonna be kind of the main thing I'm doing on this machine. So will it be a big significant difference for me? Okay, thank you so much for watching. If you wanna watch something else, maybe check out this video next. Otherwise, maybe watch this one. See you next time on the Sad Studio. Yeah!